Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going down through all of the confirmed weapons that we have actually seen in Ghost Recon Breakpoint so far through the reveal live stream, through actual trailers, through gameplay footage that came out of E3 from all of the different content creators that were actually able to go out to E3 and actually record footage. I basically sifted through all of the footage that I could possibly find to find as many actual confirmed weapons that we have in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So what do I call a confirmed weapon? So if you actually have a name that goes with the weapon, whether that be an actual screenshot or something from the game itself, some of the tiered loot that I've seen a lot of people dropping in some of the gameplays and stuff that are out there on YouTube, or specific things like the weapons we actually got to see on the characters in the cosplay guide that had specific names with the weapon. So if it's just a random weapon that somebody's carrying, you can't tell exactly what it is because there's no name that goes with it. I do not count that. So we're going to be going through all of the actual confirmed weapons that we know about so far. So also real quick, huge shout out to operator Drewski for allowing me to use some gameplay of his in today's video. As you guys know, I was not able to go out to E3 to record any footage and he was kind enough to allow me to use some gameplay in today's video. So link to his channel will be down in the description below. Make sure to go over and check him out. Tell him a squad sent you. And without further ado, guys, let's jump right into the video. So a few of these might actually be repeats in this section with what we're going to be talking about in the video later. So we're going to be going down through the cosplay guide of each individual character that we saw on here. So the first one being Nomad, you guys can see here he has the 516 assault rifle as well as the M4 Super 90 shotgun as his backup weapon and we have a P320 handgun so you guys will notice here coming up that the P320 handgun is kind of a common staple of the ghosts in Ghost Recon Breakpoint so you're going to see that multiple times next we have Fury here you see her rocking the 553 assault rifle as well as the Vector 45 ACP submachine gun as a backup weapon and another variation of the P320 pistol now moving on to Vasily you see here we have the Scorpio TCT sniper rifle as well as as the MPXK submachine gun and another variation of the P320. I'm actually really excited to see the MPX. I did enjoy using that actually quite a bit in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And now moving on to the last ghost, we have Fix It here with his stoner compact light machine gun as well as another variation of the P320 with a Desert Tam camouflage on it, which I will clear this up real quick. The Rat 4 rocket launcher is not technically a weapon in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It is a piece of equipment. This is not a weapon that you can equip in your secondary slot. This acts as a piece of equipment equipment that you can equip through your weapon wheel. I will actually show some images of that on screen here just so you guys will understand that this is not actually a weapon. It is a piece of equipment in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now moving on to our arch rival himself, Cole Walker. You see here we have the Masood 308 Marksman Rifle. Looks pretty badass. Decked out with some really cool kit as well as his customized fictional revolver. So that is a fictional weapon. That is not an actual a real weapon. As long as you guys can see here we have the Bush Knife. That is a fictional design for Cole Walker. Those are fictional items but I wanted to showcase them in the video anyways. Now moving on to the rest of these weapons guys. So all of these images that I'm going to be popping up on screen here, a couple of them were actually pulled from the reveal live stream when they showcased a little bit of the gunsmith and the rest of them are all going to be from tiered loot drops from other content creators and stuff that were actually playing the game out at E3. Uploaded their footage. I basically sifted through everything I could possibly find to find as many weapons that we saw in this gameplay. So first off we're going to be talking about the assault rifle. So this was actually an image that we saw in the actual reveal live stream. I actually do not know what this weapon is. It kind of looks like a really compact version of the M4 with some very specific attachments and stuff on that. But if you guys know what this weapon is, leave it down in the comments section below. Now moving on, here we have the Mark 17 Assault Rifle. This was one of the weapons in Ghost Recon Wildlands and you can see here this was actually a blue teardrop that somebody got. Next we have the 416 Assault Rifle. So this was actually the first assault rifle that you actually started with in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Also a blue teardrop. Now moving on to the AK-74 Assault Rifle. You can see here this is actually a purple teardrop and it is nice to see some AK weapons in the game. I hope there's like an AK-12 or something like that in the game because kind of modernized AK variations. And last but not least from the assault rifles that I could find in the gameplay is the 805 Bren. So I believe this one actually was the assault rifle that IGN was using during one of their gameplays. So now moving on to the shotguns we have the KSG-12 which was a blue teardrop as well as the RU-12 SG which was a green teardrop and then we have the M4 shotgun. So I believe this to be similar to the one that Gnome had on his shoulder it was the M4 Super 90. I believe that was just the shortened title or there's other variations of the M4 shotgun in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now moving on to the two marksman rifles that we actually saw throughout some of the gameplays. So we have the MK14 as well as the G28 and these are going to fall into your marksman rifle class. So there are two different long range weapon classes in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The first one being the marksman rifles and then the second one being the sniper rifles. So these are the two marksman rifles that I was actually able to sift through and find in all of the gameplay that I was able to look at. Now moving on to probably one 
of the more popular weapon classes, we have the sniper rifles. So first things first, these two images were actually from the reveal live stream. So obviously we have the Barrett 50 cal down here. And then here we have the shy tech intervention. So the shy tech intervention name was not tied to this weapon in the reveal live stream, but I did a bunch of Google searches and that was the closest match when it came to the visuals of this weapon is the shy tech intervention sniper rifle, which is an awesome sniper rifle. And I'm really glad to see that in ghost recon breakpoint. Also, we have the Scorpio sniper rifle that I believe this was the one similar to what Vasily was using on his class. And then we also have the L115A3 sniper rifle. This one was actually, I believe, in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And we also have the TAC-50 sniper rifle. That This was actually a DLC weapon that you had to buy from the in-game store in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So it looks like this weapon is actually going to be in the game at launch. Now, moving on to the handguns, I was only able to find two in all of the footage I was able to look through. So we have the 5.7 USG, as well as the P320. Obviously, that was pretty much every single ghost on the Ghost Squad was using the P320. Both of these were actually purple variants that dropped for the people that were actually playing. So now moving on to the submachine guns. So first off, we have the Scorpion Evo 3 CQC. So this looks a little different than the Scorpion that I've been accustomed to seeing in some video games and stuff. Maybe it's a slightly different variation. Maybe there's multiple variations of this weapon in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Next, we have the SN 9mm that was a blue tier drop, as well as we have the Bullpup PDR. So this was actually a weapon that I believe was in the Fallen Ghost DLC. So we're going to have that weapon at launch in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, as well as the MP7 and the UMP, all of these submachine guns here. So these are really cool submachine guns, and I'm really glad to see these in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So last but not least, we have the light machine gun. So we have the stoner light machine gun that Fix It was actually using on his class, as well as we have the CTMMG light machine gun and the T95 light machine gun. So three light machine guns that I was actually able to find by sifting through all of the gameplay. We know there's going to be more than just three, but those are the only ones that I could actually find. And real quick before we end the video here, guys, we have the M32 A1 multi-shot grenade launcher. So this was another weapon that was actually in the reveal live stream. And this looks very similar, almost identical to the actual grenade launcher that is a specialist weapon in Tom Clancy's Division 2. So only time will tell to see if this actually works the same or this is going to be some sort of a special weapon that you can sort of use in the game itself. Or it's just going to be a standard weapon that you can equip in one of your weapon slots. But overall, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Those are all of the weapons that I was able to find by sifting through all of the gameplay on YouTube, as well as the reveal live stream and trailers and stuff that we've seen so far. If you guys have any weapons that I may have missed in this video, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I will add them to the pinned comment or something at a later time. But overall, like I said, that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys are excited about some awesome weapons coming to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint moving forward. There isn't a whole lot of brand new information out there right now, but I'm trying to sift through every single article that I can find coming out of E3 to maybe find some information that I had missed. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more information. Also, for those of you guys out there that have been watching my videos that may not be subscribed to the channel, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to stay up to date on all content surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys do not miss a single upload. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.